up guys? I got some wicked bed head, but I'm on the way to Prism Auto Design, our shop in Tempe, Arizona. I got the trunk loaded up with some goodies. I just got back from our week and a half long trip in Mexico, and Danny says he's got a lot of work to do today, so I'm excited to go to the shop, film him, and see what he's got in store for us. So Nathan just got these uh, heat extractors for the top of his hood for his 5 Mustang directly from Roush. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of prep them, get them primed and painted, and uh, Danny and Nathan are gonna tell you exactly how that's possible. This is the part right here, as you can see. Uh, Nathan's gonna be prepping it, and he's gonna be using a red scotch sprite to get a nice scratch in the plastic. And he's also gonna be using this, which is a prep and wash. This basically removes any of the mold release that would be on the plastic when the part was made. And uh, you wanna get all that off to make sure that the paint actually sticks to the part. So Nathan's gonna be prepping this, and then we're gonna prime it as soon as he's done. So uh, Nathan is, my lens is dirty. All right, while Nathan is prepping his hood vents, his heat extractors, uh, I'm gonna start unloading these parts out of my car and uh, just took the belly pan off. We're gonna do the downpipe and hopefully the exhaust. I gotta go get my exhaust hangers off my old muffler and get working on this thing. Got most of this ready for primer. Actually, oh. <laughs> this is ready for primer. Um, we're gonna take some 400 grit to some of these. The tooling lines that you see around here, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but uh, just try to smooth it out a little bit better so that when it's painted, we're not gonna notice these. And again, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. This is pretty scuffed and this one hasn't been touched yet. So I got the exhaust off and the old downpipe, cut the downpipe off. Got to get the Oak sensors out of there. And uh, V-band clamp is actually toast, so make sure you buy a, a new V-band clamp. We're going to actually use this exhaust still from there to near there. That's the old downturn pipe that I used to didn't melt my, my uh, bumper off. All right, exhaust is on, as you can tell. Filthy from laying on the ground. So, those tips look pretty sweet, so we're gonna give it the first startup test. Sounds ridiculous. It sounds crazy. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna get some smells yeah. for probably like a day or two. That was another thing we should have done, as I forgot to tell you, is if you lacquer wash your oily fingerprints off. Let's take that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm masking off these little vents so I don't prime them, because I gotta make sure that they stay black. And uh, every time I paint the bumper, I gotta mask these off. <laughs> So the first stage of getting them primed, um, we're gonna get this adhesion promoter on there. Now watch, I'll show you how to do it. Like this. So we got the S2000 here. We got the deck lid off. Here, take a look at this. You can see all the damage here. We honestly could have probably repaired this, but the owner just wants to replace it. So we got the brand new one right here. Nathan's prepping this thing out. This is an OEM deck lid too, so it's not an aftermarket one. It's already seam sealed, getting it prepped, getting it ready for paint. All the damage to the rear bumper, you can see here in the center, it's creased both sides, like where the license plate area goes, creased there. It's hard to see, but it's creased there too, and it even tore the plastic. So if I can't get a new bumper, we're gonna fix this one. Um, yeah, you can see all the other damage on there. Check out all the new parts too all OEM Honda parts. So everything here is original, replacing everything that's damaged. That's GT 350 stuff there. The old parts here, got this light here, new ones in the box there. And one thing we do have to do is this deck lid has holes drilled for the, which I believe is an OEM wing, but we have to drill the holes into this new deck lid. So we gotta do that after it's prepped. And then we gotta fit it and make sure that this part of the body isn't smashed in because that was kind of the concern is it got hit really bad right here. So we're worried about it may not latch properly. So we're gonna make sure after we install the new OEM deck lid that it latches properly and it fits good. And then uh, we're doing the front end also. So I got the car marked up. We gotta remove the, oil, or the uh, water squirters 
we have to remove the little turn signal light here and then the badge on both sides. And then we're gonna take the bumper off, we're gonna take the headlights out and we're gonna refinish the whole front end. So fix any little dents and rock chips and scratches that the whole front end has and repaint the entire front end. So you can see down here, this lip is supposed to be black. So I have an original replacement. That's actually for an NSX, but hopefully it works. And uh, yeah, they painted this thing. Yeah, did this bumper, painted that. So instead of just taking these off and then sticking them back on, we actually got brand new emblems to replace these. Hold on, and then you gotta see too that they're actually separate. You can't just buy the S2000 badge, you have to buy the S and then you have to buy the 2000 badge. <laughs> Both sides. I tried to show it in the parking lot when it was on the trailer, but the bumper doesn't crack. And this is why, these little retainer clips wear out over time, but this one's actually broken here. But the other side, let's go look at the other side. So the other side isn't physically, or like you can't visibly see that it's damaged, but just look at that. Like that causes the bumper there to sag and droop on this corner and not sit tight. So we're placing this entire bracket to make sure that the bumper sits nice and tight like it should.